All right, just set that one on fire. Oh, he's got another KV-1 with him. Uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, crap. That didn't want, that's not where I wanted it to go. Shell should have gone in these to his turret ring. Okay, we're reloaded. Do I push? Yeah, let's push. Come on. Come on, boys. You're a heavy tank and you're scared of a tank to Ow. Okay. Well, he's got a little bit before he reloads. But shoot him right here. Got him. All right, now we can put the fire out. Oh, bounce, bounce. Come on. Yes. I'm going to survive. Ooh, look, look, look. There's a light tank. He's going to get wrecked. Yes. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Reload, reload, reload. Quick. Oh, what the hell? Where'd my reload go? Right, welcome yourselves to the SDK of Z 251 slash 22. Essentially, it's a bigger brother than the other variant, which we call the Dirt Wagon. Uh, or what do we call it? Pack Wagon. I, I, I suppose it's an interesting name. This thing's nicknamed the Pack Track for obvious reasons. It's got a 75 millimeter gun, rank two, battle rating uh, 3.3. That's a fun little machine, and you have to put your esports ready stickers on the side. But suffice to say, I've had two matches in this th little thing, and I've enjoyed every moment. It is a little tenderizing when, you know, you're facing up aircraft, but for what it is, you, it's a 75 mil on a half track, and th it's just genius. All right, there you go, there's a range of camouflages. But, you know, there is one important decal we need to put on the top, right? Mike goes boom's decal, we're going to shove it on the gun shield right there. Come on, get it bigger. <laughs> <laughs> it, <laughs> it never gets old this thing never gets old and of course this is part of the battle pass uh you get it, and there are other vehicles which are in the battle pass ebr 963 you have seen my video last week as well as there also being a japanese fighter the a6m i don't think it's a6m I don't, actually, I don't actually know there it is the a6m uh version c which again we'll be covering in a separate video soon uh, and we'll have to wait for the EBR until a little bit later. But, jumping into it, this thing is a half track, right? Incredibly slow, the tracks are incredibly thin, there's no armor what to speak of, besides from this beautiful gun, and we're just going to try shooting a target behind a tree here. I believe it's a T-34. About the way, Spitzwagen. Target undamaged, okay, we need to aim just a little higher and see if we can go through the turret here. And that should do the job. Ooh, straight through the idle wheel. Don't know how I managed to do that, but the 75 is an incredibly potent gun. As you can see, that poor little M2A4 didn't stand a bloody chance. Now, there's something just sitting in the A point, I think. At least there was. Doesn't matter. We're going to sort of sit here at long range. This is where this tank does best. I shouldn't really call it a tank. It's a half track with an anti-tank capability. There is no more you can really say about this vehicle. Aside from the fact that, well, I've chosen limited amount of ammunition. There are six rounds left in my vehicle. I'm going to go through them like no tomorrow. Too high. Go down a bit more. Ready? I get uh, a splash, but again, no hits. So I'm already down two shells. This is going to cause a bit of grief. And that M5 now doesn't have a machine gun. That's okay, though. Still figuring out this long range thing. And unfortunately, that tank moved. Which means I'm down to two shells, having only taken uh, 12 with me. The reload is quite fast in this little machine as well. And in a stationary long range position like this is incredibly fun. If you saw the intro, you'd already know that it can bounce a couple of shells. But again, it's not exactly the most useful little vehicle. Aside from it just having immense fun factor. Anyway, we're going to go sneakily go reload on a cap and hopefully the enemy team will allow us to do that if they are they're complete novices because this thing shouldn't be allowed to exist if this thing's just fun especially in an open terrain map like this one oh okay right it's taking out my my driver oh, he's just about to get nailed isn't he that m3 lee is still alive Kill assist. Right. Climbing back up the hill after reloading some ammunition. Couple of aircraft everywhere. That's one thing you have to be wary of in this machine because all your crew is all exposed. Shoot out three of your crew. You've only got one, maybe two more crew members down below. 
Well, it's 250-2 over here, isn't there? 250. Yeah, look at him. Stabilize. Come on. The gun sways a lot in this one. The steering is also very heavy and very fat, so it wobbles all over the place. But this is my first match in this machine. I haven't played many games in it, and I'm already enjoying myself. This is someone who isn't really a tanker either. It's just a big gun on the back of a half track. What else can you say? All right, that's a Sherman. Okay, this is going to be interesting. How many shells can I put inside a Sherman? Two. Okay, I need to aim a bit higher. And I'm scared of those aircraft flying around. Come on. Right, aim a bit higher again. Should aim for the turret. I, I, I moved my mouse at the last second there. Okay, let's try again. Go a little bit higher this time. One more trance. There we go. That's what I wanted to do originally. Took you long enough. This is why I stick to aircraft. Even then, I'm crap at War Thunder. <laughs> There goes the I-15. He was strafing me earlier. This is basically GG. I've sat on a, on a cap zone. The rest of the friendlies have moved up. I've reloaded for a while. And now we're just playing the game of who can shooty shooty before the shooty shooty, right? That's just War Thunder in a nutshell, isn't it? Well, it's an SU-5 looking thing. Get a second shell into this guy. We've set him on fire. See, the reload is impressive with this thing. Okay. Right. That's it. I think that's it. Wait, hang on. This guy's are shooting at something. Let's see if we can get a shot off at this guy. Thank you for letting me through. All right. Aim up. Oh, it's a Lee. Well, it was a Lee. General Lee wouldn't be too happy about getting shot at by a half-track with a 75 now, would he? Moving on. What are we up to? Five kills now? Six? Something like that. First impressions of this machine is quite interesting. I like this machine. Not much more to say about it, really. All right, we're going to go out into the next match, and I'll show you uh, another couple of things. Okay, we've gone out into the next match, and again, having your measuring range finder is definitely a good thing. We're back up just a tad. We're going to reduce the range. Again, he is coming, uh, approaching us. I believe that's a KV-2. Aim up to 600. Launch one. There you go. Goodbye, KV-2. No more KV-2 for you. Little light tank shooting me over there. Ah, see, I'm not going to be able to hit him. I tried. I tried lobbing one over. It's a bit, it's a bit annoying. Oh, hang on. Hang on. We've got targets. Where did that come from? Oh, it's a little South African thing. Wheelie boy. Okay, about there. Yeah, he realizes he's absolutely screwed transmissions out there's a chaffy behind him as well look at that ow he's taking my gun out absolute bastard okay let's repair here 14 seconds he's basically peeled my gun like a like a banana the monkey wants his food he starts peeling tank cannons instead of anti <laughs> tank cannons oh there we go it's amazing what you can do in 43 seconds I'll take that out of context. T-34 over there. Don't think I'll be able to get a shot from him. Nope. Okay, well, unfortunately they're capping A, but we can try and take it. Oh, you could have aimed just a little higher. Instead, we're going to go aim for his friend, okay? And there you go. Right. Our little armoured car has no chance, does he? Oh, missed that one. There must be an object there. Ah, artillery! All right, come out wherever you are. Wait for it. There we go. Beautiful. Well, that is the SDKFZ 51 whatever slash 22. It's a fantastic little half track. If you get yourself the battle pass, this thing is a lot of fun. All right, that's it for first impressions of this machine. Hope you've enjoyed. Nothing else to say here. Um, catch you next time.